What's up everyone? I'm Nick and welcome to the channel. Well, after a five hour drive, we are in beautiful UP. And when I say we, I am accompanied with my beautiful girlfriend, Sam. <laughs> Dark. <laughs> Today is New Year's Eve, and instead of hunting for a party, we are hunting for Aurora. Well, it's kind of hard to get Aurora when it's cloudy and there's a half moon going on, but we are still in beautiful UP where there's a bunch of waterfalls. Well, it's winter, so they're going to be frozen. So it's super exciting for me to shoot like frozen waterfalls, like never done that before also an ice cave that is not very far away from where we are staying and that's very exciting as well um i'm still into night photography and with night photography you don't really need the night sky it just is really nice to have it but light painting is a thing and well frozen waterfalls i'm thinking could be a really cool thing and there's like a cave behind it i've shot this waterfall scott's falls a handful of times on film on medium format and and everything else so why not it's a mile down the street so you might be seeing that tonight i'm not sure how the video quality is going to look with it being very dark out but we're gonna give it a go i'll see you then Well, this is cool. Huh? Well, this is cool, I said. Yeah. I like your sound of me. All right. This side has a cool water feature on it. It's like I don't want to shoot it at the exact same angle I have shot it, but it gets the most of the cave in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> shoot. Right from here. <coughs> so I'm at Scott Falls. Um I'm going to try to light paint the cave and this waterfall. Um, need some shit. Trying for a different composition. But I think I'm going to just go with the original one that I always shoot, which showcases. I can't get too original here. <laughs> It's like I want foreground interest, but at the same time doing that with this might not need anything for something like that. But we'll see, we'll see. So we're going to be doing long exposures, 30 seconds or so. So now I'm just setting up my camera for the shot and making sure I'm in focus, which it's hard to tell when you're zoomed in 
and you're using a lot of ISO and everything else, but I feel like I got it pretty much in there. I don't care for any of that. I'm kind of putting the ice from the waterfall on the right side of the th thirds and try to get it level, but that's pretty simple actually. All right. Now, do I think I need do it probably F 5.6, 30 second exposures. Um, now, I'm gonna be grabbing my flashlight, which is in my bag, obviously. Dropping my temperature, I want a blue look. So obviously cold, it is cold. Obviously we got ice. Um, I'm using a LED normal flashlight. So that's already helps a lot. I'm setting it at 4,300 Kelvin. Um, focus is as clear as I can get it. Looks good. Focus on the, the ice, ice ball. All right, um, I'm gonna do a 10 second timer so I can move around. All right, here it goes. So when I'm doing shots like this, you can just paint in, and I'm doing, I'm gonna do multiple shots and then blend them all in together um, with Photoshop. I don't know if uh, painting it on the right or in front of this is gonna look good. I'm thinking I'm gonna have to go in the cave and light it up from the backside, which uh, everything's trial and error. You got all time, well, this is very slow work. Nothing is being rushed. That looks kind of cool. Can't see anything other than that. <coughs> it looks cool from this side when you light it up. See? Oh, that's really bright, but when you're actually over there, it looks very cool. All right, so. Westbrook is calling me. <coughs> All right, so now I'm going inside the cave. So I'm just painting it on the inside. The sound of this sounds so cool. Check this out. Oh yeah, a little blown out, but that looks really cool. Focus a lot on the bottom. All right, I know what I want. So that's what I'm gonna do.
I'm all right. Let's check that shot out. All right, I like it. I think I'm gonna start light painting the inside oh, of the cave. See how that, I'm gonna kind of really focus on the left side of the wall and have reflective for the side that you're going to see. Um, even more light will work. I don't know how well this is gonna work, but ev like I said, everything is trial trial and error. You take the shot, you look. If you like it, you take it. Like I said, you have all the time in the world to do it. So yeah, that's, that looks really cool. You don't need much. It looks better. All right, I'm gonna focus on the inside of the cave. It's bright, but it's not blown out. Yeah, but it's really getting green. So yeah, that looks cool. Now I'm gonna focus more on the right side. It looks nice up front. Oh, I'm getting old, guys. I'm getting old. Alright. I want to see. Now, a little technique I've learned um, is cupping my hand and then using it like reflective light off of my hand to, I don't know, it just looks cool. I found out it just is easier light to work with. Uh, that did absolutely nothing though. So, scratch that idea. It's like I don't want to be in 
water, but I'm in the water now. That's fun. And I'm trying to get more shadow detail. More on the side, not right behind the camera. I have my flashlight on the low setting. Oh, Actually, it is very subtle, but I like it. It's not in your face, and I have the detail there. All right, I'm gonna try from another angle. I never know when the cameras which doesn't really mean anything it's just I'm probably standing there like a dum-dum doing things I don't get what I'm looking at here So that's that. my head on the rock. Oh, God damn, that hurt. My battery's gonna die here, so. Which battery? 
Right. I'm going to show you <clears throat> the results when I'm done. Well, that's the end of part one on our little venture up into the UP. I had a really great New Year's Eve. This was a very fun shoot for me. And if you're into nightscape photography, landscape photography, or anything in between, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you may like this video, hit that like button. Thank you very much, and I hope you guys have an awesome 2023.